Alrighty boys, I'm joined today with my good buddy Aaron, or right, Tan Kid, and we are going to be discussing DLC weapons and when they are coming this month for October. I'm going to be giving away some free COD points this month. All you guys have to do is drop a like, comment DLC, and make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on those post notifications. Good luck, and I'll announce the winner at the end of the month. Alright, what's going on guys? Aaron or Tan Kid, welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video today for the final BO3 DLC weapon update 1.26. I'm joined with my good buddy right away say hello what's going on what's going on guys how are you all right so today we're going to talk about the final weapon update as it is currently monday the day before tuesday in which the majority of black ops 3 updates come out mm -hmm. as of now 5 p.m as we're recording this commentary there is no pre-update which nope. is typical for the day of the updates in bo3 but we have a lot to talk about a lot to cover and why they might be stalling on this update and it could mean more things for us in the long term so ray do you want to start off you know with the first point yeah sure so if you guys didn't know the the final or i guess like the last sort of the DLC weapon update we got was the XMC and the Olympia and that was back in August that was August 15th actually so it completely skipped out on September we thought we were gonna get at least some September contraband we didn't at all which kind of sucked but now we're moving on to October and we sort of feel like this is the last month Black Ops 3 can do something considering World War 2 is coming out next month I believe it's like the fourth or something I don't even know uh, but either way World War 2 is coming out in November this is like the last and like final month Black Ops 3 can really do something really push out an update but like what were you thinking because you know obviously we have halloween gear as an idea we were talking about this before what would you like to see considering you know halloween's sort of around the corner yeah halloween's around the corner but it's also the fact that infinite warfare just dropped a halloween themed yeah, that's right. uh, i guess presentation of dlc game mode supply drops in the same way that black ops 3 mwr and iw did the days of summer event back mm -hmm. in the beginning of june yeah. they're kind of doing that now for the autumn halloween season so the fact that we didn't get the dlc in september and it's prolonged to the you know the second week soon to be in october it's kind of unfortunate in that fact but as we get closer to halloween it makes it more i guess obvious that they are probably probably planning something in terms of a themed release yeah, like whether it's going to be strictly something. halloween yeah exactly whether mm -hmm. it's like strictly halloween or it's i guess more autumn derived like if there's some sort of camo involved mm -hmm. i'm not too sure Definitely. in terms if they're actually planning that but it just makes more sense especially because iw drops so halloween gear and contraband makes a lot of sense yeah september i mean there really isn't like a theme or like a holiday exactly, going on yeah. september so yeah that would kind of make sense with the whole autumn halloween theme gear uh, i know advanced warfare you know sledgehammer they also had some halloween gear yep. too so I mean, Halloween gear we've seen before in Call of Duties. That would be awesome yeah. to have some Halloween type gear for all the specialists. Um, but then we can also have some new, new weapons too. Um, you know, Infinite Warfare, they just released some Halloween themed weapons. I think the NV4 got like a really cool themed one. So but like, like you said, you know, going back to, you know, the winter, we had some winter updates too. We got the summer. Hopefully we do see something for autumn. So what, what do we have left for October? How many more weeks yeah. do we have? So right now it's the 9th, which is the, I guess the day before the 10th. So it would typically fall when these DLC weapon updates come out. The day prior is when the updated game is actually put onto your PS4, your Xbox. You know, you get that update and then they stall it about a day. Yeah. So we could be seeing an update on the 16th of October, a 23rd of October update and a 30th. And that would obviously coincide with a 17th, 24th and 31st of October release of those. Cause obviously the update, you know, days are separate than the release day. So we have three yeah. weeks essentially where this window of opportunity with the dlc and you know with the weapons whether they are halloween themed or not has that has that window of opportunity so three more weeks is really all it comes down to and considering the fact that we just got the grand slam the mm -hmm. big box and the triple play that's three different the, yeah, bundles and it's bribes kind of insane that they did that exactly yeah. yeah three dlc weapon bribes and bundles is a lot in like a month and a half and mm -hmm. it's it's around that time in which the weapons already came out so when we get the grand slam the big box and the triple play it's not really for the previous weapons it's more hinting towards the future and that's what they've always done they drop the bribes in the bundles before the weapons come out and then they drop another bribe after so, you know they try to get you on like a double sale it's like yeah. it's a pretty old tactic they've been doing you know since i guess i'm um, like i think the beginning of bo3 but yeah i think aw was doing some stuff like that too yeah, they, they always did like the, the big box bundle and then bam, like the week after that or something, we got some new DLC weapons. So yeah. the fact that we got three bribes, the Grand Slam, big box and the triple play, we, you know, I, I really think that they are hinting or trying to push towards that. Like maybe DLC weapons are coming possibly soon. Like you said, we have three weeks left, the 16th, the 23rd and the 30th. Those are some key dates to look out for, for you guys, for sure. Uh, but you know, we get the updates Monday, we get the weapons Tuesday. So hopefully within these three weeks, we can see at least something, maybe like a new community contract 
that too because that'd you know, be cool. I think that'd be awesome. Some kind of Halloween camo or something because you know I, I think the last time you know they did that we've been getting a lot of camos for the the community contracts right. So maybe some Halloween yep. camos that'd be pretty awesome. But definitely I want to talk about some possible, you know, DLC weapons we can see because everyone loves talking about possible DLC weapons, what we could potentially see in these supply drops for, you know, the October contraband. So do you want to start it off with the, the possible, you know, potential weapons? Yeah. So there's two, I guess, sectors where these weapons fall, the previous Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 throwback weapons mm -hmm. and weapons that are, are more derived from zombies. And obviously you can draw from both. You know, we've seen the, the 1911, you know, be added to zombies. We've seen the, the 74U come from a previous game. They try to do different things, different styles of weapons, even with the camos. We have the Pack-a-Punch camos, so they try to pull from different sides of the community, I guess, to, I guess, appease or, uh, you know, just promote the fact that every single, you know, sub-community of Black Ops 3 is getting what they want. Mm -hmm. And, of course, with the For community sure. contracts, they try to tie in the zombies community as well. So, uh, when they pull from zombies, you know, weapons like the STG, uh, you know, the Revolver, the Mauser, the Bootlegger, the Thompson, uh, the LMG known as the MG-08, yep. weapons we've talked about in the past, these are all weapons that have been predicted to come from zombies and be added to supply drops in multiplayer. Other weapons that are, you know, fan favorites in the past, you know, the classic ballistas and yep. M27s and SCARs and mm -hmm. PDWs and MP7s, those are obviously weapons we would love to see, uh, but there is a twist to it, obviously, because we only really get one or two at the very most big yeah. named weapons. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, you know, weapons you think are most likely, what do you what do you think is going to come? So the, the big ones right here on the list, I would think the SCG for sure. It's a very popular, you mm -hmm. know, assault rifle. It's in World War II as well. So it's in zombies, you know, Black Ops 3 zombies. Very yep. popular weapon. Everyone knows this one. They can literally take the files of the SCG from zombies and put in multiplayer. They don't have to do a lot of work towards this. If they're, you know, if they're trying to focus on their next Call of Duty, whether that's Black Ops 4 or like a new series, whatever. If they don't want to do a lot of work, they can just take the weapons from zombies and bring them over to multiplayer. And that's sort of new content for us. Obviously, it wouldn't be new, I guess, to the zombies people because they, you know, they use those weapons all the time, but it's sort of new to multiplayer guys. So I think the SCG would be awesome. Moving along, I think that the bootlegger would be the next candidate, just like the Sten. Uh, once again, that was a DLC weapon in Advanced Warfare. Everyone knows the Sten. I believe it's going to be in World War II as well. So if they want to build up hype for World War II, they could put in a lot of World War II weapons in there, creating some hype for the next COD. Uh, moving on, I think the Thompson would be an awesome candidate. Even like the MG-08, you know, that LMG, we haven't seen the LMG in such a long time. So I think we're definitely due for one, uh, but also the Ballista. M27, MP7, even the PDW. I have tons of people still, you know, tweeting me. I don't know if they tweet at you, but they're always like, oh, I think I found the PDW coding. Yeah. And that's been in the game since the beta. So if you guys, you know, see that PDW coding, it's not, you know, leaked DLC weapons, uh, whatever, you know, that's been in the game since the beta. But those weapons, I think, would be an awesome possibility. Those are like some fan favorite weapons as well. And yep. if people saw those in supply drops, they would be like, okay, you know what? I'm buying some COD points. It, it's good profit. It's good business for, you know, Treyarch as well. So I don't know why they wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I completely agree. In terms of, you know, the, the potential weapons, there is still such a stack list. Even as we get the Galil, the Famas, the Peacekeeper, you know, weapons that we've seen in the past. And like, how many more weapons can you think of? And then when you really brainstorm, there's so many there's different so weapons that you can pull from the past that are just, yeah. you know, completely banger weapons that would be, you know, extreme fan favorites in the game. So August Contraband was a pretty popular, I, I would say, release the XMC and the Olympia very very mm -hmm. strong weapons so just two we could weapons be only exactly that, that so, is also the other thing yeah. you know and the fact that we have no melee weapon since the raven's eye it's pretty safe to say that we're going to get uh you know a primary weapon like an smg or an ar and then a secondary weapon that's also a primary though you know maybe a shotgun a sniper an lmg possibly a new special or pistol who knows at this point but I i'm banking on an smg or an ar being the main i guess uh you know uh, target for yeah, this update exactly. and uh if it comes next week the week after that or the week after that it's all falling within the october contraband so halloween themed is obviously a big candidate candidate for you know the overall presentation and style of the dlc so let us know in the comments down below what you guys think do you want a halloween themed dlc for the final update in black ops 3 mm -hmm. do you like the weapons that you know are being proposed the pdw the mp7 the m27 or do you have other weapons you want to see in bo3 let us know in the comment section down below yeah exactly please let us know your ideas i'm always looking through the comments so i love to see and hear your guys ideas and your creativity you guys are absolutely amazing so let us know what you guys want to see for weapons mm -hmm. in black ops 3 uh hopefully for the October contraband. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to drop a like, go to Aaron's channel, and I believe me, my link will yep, be in the to description rates. too. So that's pretty much it, boys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.